couple of questions here about Vic's expiration tomorrow. Uh, Brad Brantley, uh, how you doing, Brad? He says Vic's expiration tomorrow. Is that going to play anything? Uh, playing the things at all what's your opinion on that one uh well we've we've owned april puts like our subscribers will know i, I took them off today um you know I, I as we blasted through a load of reasonable amount of open interest you know I, the the way that thing's been charming is for people to dump vix futures into expiry but i imagine most of that's done now right so so I kind of didn't see the point in going into the expiry print and being exposed to that thing, like going higher or whatever. So yeah. I've, taken, I've taken my, I've had some 18 strike puts on VIX expiring tomorrow. I've taken them off. I think I took them off for like 80 cents or something. Right. Um, but, you know, I think the May futures have got really pummeled as well. The whole curves come down a lot. If you, if you compare like the second contract, so May to the fourth contract, the steepness of that thing is like near the highs that it gets to normally. So, this is a pretty extremely steep curve. Um, so some mean mm -hmm. reversion, like you're calling for, that the market re retraces a bit and VIX mean reverts a little bit higher. I could definitely see that happening. I've been trying to think of ways to get long the VIX in May that aren't going to you know, kill me in terms of carry and things like that. So call spreads, yeah. broken wing call flies, things like that that get you long like the 20 area and you lean against the short, the 25 area, something like that because the skew is still quite steep in VIX. It's like 40 vol. If you look at 25 delta riskies, they're like 40 vols for the calls over, right? So it's still quite steep. So you can take advantage of the upside skew in VIX by selling that stuff against any calls that you buy and get a decent risk rewards. So th those are ways I like owning May VIX right now. Yeah, I, I think it, it, where we've seen VIX the VIX expiration be more impactful is when there's a relatively higher level of volatility. And I, and I think that that just gives you more room for markets to kind of be pushed around, um, you know, around the expirations. And so we've seen kind of really big rallies before VIX expirations when the VIX is relatively higher and there's a little more kind of juice in it. Um, and I think I pretty much agree with you here. Like we're in the basement and I don't really know what the impact of that's going to be. Um, but when you start to talk about the, OPEX pinning, right? Um, sometimes things get a little bit looser when you have the VIX expiration a couple of days before the S&P pin. And so we've been telling our subscribers is, you know, don't get too cute with this. If you want to play like a little bit of a mean reversion, start to look at putting that trade on now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you may risk a little bit of carry, but puts are so cheap, you know, you can size it away that, okay, I'll pay the carry. And I think the risk war is pretty decent if we get, you know, a little bit of a pullback next week. Um, you know, that the, the vol pop should be pretty decent there. So it seems like you and I more or less agree that VIX expiration probably not a big factor. Yeah, I think the move is already kind of done on VIX, right? I don't, I don't think the VIX is going to go down that much more for the expiry print, and so, yeah. and therefore, I don't think um, it's going to have too much impact on the S and P. And you can see the S and P is kind of holding in at that that forty one fifty area. It just can't seem to shake it, right? And I think that's because the gamma, outstanding gamma on the S and P itself is pretty huge right yeah it's uh it's a very positive uh gamma environment if you look at the breakdown of that here in the expiration concentration dashboard orange is call delta blue is put delta and you can see that there's just way more call delta right now than put delta uh if you look at this from a gamma lens it tells you basically the same thing there's just a lot more calls i think there's you know volatility is contracting uh and so all that is kind of going to crescendo, I think, into expiration, which is why I think the market's going to kind of mean revert here, give some back next week, and ball is going to increase a little bit. 